Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back. Beaker here and today I want to play some World Zombie Nation. And as far as new games go, this game is awesome. I'm really enjoying it. So if you guys are looking for a new game, want something new, try this out. So today we're going to go to Chicago. There's a faction war going on right now and that's just an easy way to get loot. So we're going to go in there and check it out guys. I'll show you the army I've been using. It's a very, very powerful army for this level. You'll see the recommended team power. I'm towards the high end of that. So uh, it's going to make it easy. So we're going to click fight here and go in and see the map that we have. The map is different every time. It's, you know, switches up slightly, uh, but you know, they're based off the same general maps and sometimes they, you know, you get the same one. Uh, so here we go, guys. Let's uh, figure out where we're going to put our troops. How I do it is I stack all my troops right uh, on where the first wave is. So I guess I'm basically going to put most of them right in here. Uh, that's going to be a little sketchy because we have a second wave that's going to come from the, that left side. But we will do it. Um, let's see here. We'll put a, a handyman out there. Those guys are supposed to catch these. There's these like exploding zombies, which are I think are on this level. And they just blow up, you know, your whole team of guys. So if you have that handyman, in theory, he can catch them, but he usually doesn't. So, you know, we'll hope he does, but he usually doesn't. So, um, what do we have over here? Okay, this side doesn't have any zombies spawning over here. So we're going to put some of our longer range dudes over here, like snipers and machine gunners. We actually only have two. Usually I bring more than that. That's kind of my mistake this, this time. Uh... I actually didn't need this surgeon. Surgeon is, you know, kind of like a healer, except she can raise the dead. Uh, so I didn't really need her this time because she's just going to get blown up anyway. But uh, let's go ahead, guys. We're going to get started here in a minute. Uh, I want my guys spread out quite a bit. Um, what do I want this guy? I guess I'll put this guy here as well. I, as I said, they're all going to get blown up, and, you know, it's not going to be pretty, but. Um, Let's go, guys. So I usually save uh, Captain Zeta here until I absolutely need her. So we'll just see where she's needed. That's kind of just how I play it, you know. I just I just keep her until <laughs> stuff starts getting really bad. <laughs> so let's see if we can see any of these uh, blowing up guys. They're they're like those really fast running guys, except they have propane tanks strapped to them. You'll notice them right away once they come. So here is some Stimzy. We can drop that on our guys to speed them up. There we go. So now we have some more units to drop. We can drop um, a couple of tanks. Th these guys are really the, the tank units. They, uh, you know, protect our, our smaller units. The firemen and the handymen are basically my tanks in this raid. So here's a flare, guys. You can kind of see what that does. It uh, draws the uh, zombies away from your units. Pretty handy. It, it's pretty quick uh, acting unit. Only only works for a few seconds but it's a big help sometimes all right and also as you can see you can move your units just a little bit you can um, it's called like a rally point I think you can kind of get them to move just a little bit which can be a pretty big help so we're gonna keep getting our units down another sniper came up so we're gonna put him over here they seem to be helping quite a bit oh there's one of those blow up guys I think we killed him before he got to our units though which is good so we're doing okay so far, but in Zombie Nation, you never know. The tide can turn so fast. Like, it's incredible. You can be doing really well, and then all of a sudden, boom, it's a wrap. You're getting overrun like crazy. So, um, looks like we are doing okay right now, and we haven't even used Zeta yet. Or basically, what is basically our hero. It's like our, our Archer Queen, if you play Clash of Clans. You'll sort of like an Archer Queen. Not really, but... Um, She's a hero that you start out with, basically, and and she doesn't, she's not treated entirely like a normal unit, so we'll call her a hero. So guys, I'm going to put another machine gunner over here. I probably won't need it because we're on the final wave, but, uh, oh, there we go. <laughs> I didn't need it at all. But uh, 225 is a great score. I think it's out of 250. Yeah, the only thing we didn't get is unit survival bonus, which is if you don't, like, use your troops, use all your troops. Uh, I actually didn't use Zeta, so we were able to get through this with, um you know, one-eighth less troops than we were given. So here's our bonus, guys. Looks like we're going to get some supplies and a nice troop a handyman. So sometimes, best case scenario, you'll get supplies, which are the boxes on the top and bottom card. Looks like they gave us a gunfighter instead, which is not all that great, but uh, hey, we'll take it. 
So let's go back in and do another raid, guys. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you guys think of World Zombie Nation. If you haven't tried it yet, you know, give it a shot. If you're into a new game, give it a shot and let me know what you think. And if you do play, of course, let me know. Uh, let me know like what what sort of troops you guys use and you know what you like about the game. I really enjoy this game because it's a little different than what I'm used to. You know, I'm obviously used to Clash and Boom, and this is quite different. So, what did I say I needed? Oh, another. I need more sniper guys, really. Um, all right, we'll take that guy and then we'll swap out our fireman for another sniper guy. So what do we got here? Uh, that's that's a stealth sniper and he's a legendary, meaning he's got that orange um, outline on him. And that's legendary is just super rare, and it's good and bad. You know they have great stats, but they're hard to upgrade because when you upgrade troops in this game, you need two of the same troop to upgrade past level nine. So I can't get those past level 9 until I get another one, which is going to take forever. So anyway, that's my rant about that. Um, this map looks a little easier. We can definitely load up uh, some of these pads, these these pads where you drop troops. They're big on this map, that you can get 6 on each pad. That's good. That, that makes it a lot easier. So we will load up right there, and this is not good though. Look, these zombies are spawning right next to one of the buildings I have to protect. That's going to be tough, but uh, we should be okay. So let's put down some of our tank guys right here and here. And then we'll put a healer or surgeon right here. How about a mercenary right there? Um, let's see, maybe our... Oh, we want our stealth sniper. Stealth sniper right there. Um, maybe machine gunner there as well. How about that? Um, as long as he has a straight line to shoot at, you know, a decent amount of zombies, which I think he will right there. He'll, he'll at least be able to shoot at this area right in here. And then one more sniper. Where do I want him? Um, I'm not, as you can see, I don't really worry about the other spawn zones until the time comes. You know, so I'll have Zeta if I absolutely need help on that other spawn zone. But right now I'm just loading up on the first wave zone. So let's go, guys. Let's get it on. Yeah. Dude, I love this game. The music is, you know, kind of spooky, kind of funny. It's almost like cartoony, like comic book-like. I don't know. I just, I love the, you know, I think it's it's a beautiful game. It's a well-done game. And this game is pretty new. So, you know, it's only going to get better. Um, that's how, that's how things go. I mean, they seem to be doing pretty well so far. So, I definitely have high hopes for this game. I think they're going to do great things. So, it looks like we got some dudes coming out here. So we gotta head them off real quick. Um, wow, this is gonna be tough because we don't have that many spawn zones over here, as you can see. But we will make do. Um, we got, you know, we just gotta use our spells and our special abilities here. Like we have uh, one that's basically a firebomb that will help us the most. You don't get to use it that often, basically once a raid. But you know, it's just a firebomb. It's it's a Molotov cocktail, and you, you know, you throw it on. The crowd of zombies kills them all at once. It's it's awesome. It's you know easily one of the most powerful. Uh, I don't know what you call those things. I'm gonna call them spells. <laughs> they're kind of like spells in Clash Clans, but yeah, you know they're they're basically like a spell, and that's definitely one of the most powerful ones. Is this firebomb that just kills everything in its path? So, um, I guess I'm just throwing stuff down right now, but we seem to be doing pretty good, honestly. Uh, we got to put a guy right here to sort of head off this mess that's coming down the, the lane here oh and they just got blown up all right we're doing good except for this bottom part here i'm a little worried about because you know all we have down there is really captain zeta or uh what's her destructor they call it um we're gonna put a machine gunner in the back to sort of help out and hopefully he doesn't get run over he takes a little while to set up so hopefully while he's getting set up he doesn't get run over looks like zeta is covering him pretty well right now and everyone else is doing fine so boom we did it yeah that was a good score 235 so we were very close to the 250 total we we're only 15 off great raid yeah all right so yeah our troops are dead now so we'll take a break but uh, Zeta still has a little health because we didn't use her in the first raid so that's what that's you know why I sort of save her guys because um, it takes a lot of time for your troops to regen I think it's you know once they die, I think it's at least like half an hour. Maybe it's more like 45 minutes. So, you know, if you if you can get away without using your troops, 
one of them two of them it's a good idea so here we go guys here's the the best case scenario reward uh top and bottom are supplies and then the middle is a halfway decent unit i don't want personal trainer but you know i'll sell it and, and get a little more supplies from that so there we go guys that's world zombie nation let me know what you think about it i really like this game and i'm gonna i'm gonna continue playing it for sure um if you guys are playing this game and need a guild or or want to join my guild right up here unity alliance uh look us up we are a obviously a human survivor guild we don't play on the zombies yet but we will in the future and uh you know it's a lot of fun i got a bunch of my friends in here we chat we uh have decent troops so yeah come by if you want guys um, again, let me know in the comments below what you think about World Zombie Nation. Again, I love it. It's really fun. And if you guys are looking for a new game, try it out. If you, you know, if Clash is too much for you already, don't don't bother trying it out. But if you are looking for something new, this is a good one. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. Leave me a like and a comment if you like this video, and subscribe if you haven't already. All right, guys, I'll see you next time. Peace.